Alright, today is Wednesday, January the 20th, 2021. I am doing a continuation reading of the scriptures which lead to the Bible. And I am now reading the book of Genesis among the 66 books that are in the scriptures known to lead towards the Bible. So here we go, chapter 6 in the book of Genesis. So I'm trying to speed read through these chapters. So the Bible is long. Chapter 6 in the book of Genesis is titled Wick, Wick, Wickedness in the World. Wicked, Wickedness in the World. Chapter 6. Verse reads, verse 1, it says, When human beings began to increase in number on the earth, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contempt with humans forever, for they are mortal. Their days will be hundreds and twenty years. The Nephilim were on earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them, they were the heroes of old, men of renown. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the earth, the human race, with them animals, the birds, the creatures that fall on the ground, for I regret I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Verse 9 is titled Noah and the Flood. Verse 9 reads, this is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. And he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and, and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to this people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourselves an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside, inside and out. how you are to build it. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Make a roof for it, leaving below the roof of an opening one cubit high all around. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. I'm going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens. Every creature that has the breath of life in it, everything on earth will perish. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you. 
view of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. Verse 21 reads, you are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and stored away as food for you and for them. Verse 22 reads, Noah, Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Genesis chapter 6 which is titled Wickedness of the World and also in verse 9 it is titled Noah's command which is to build the ark this is one of the 50 chapters that the book of Genesis has through this reading I hope to maybe reflect on myself in the future how I could become a better speaker about, about myself about that I can't read through the whole Bible within the year because it is a goal it is an achievement and it is New Year's resolution as a better enhancement of my conscience on how to better improve myself mentally and so on and so forth book of Genesis within the scriptures known as the Bible. Till next chapter.